eight years ago you had a traumatic experience when your team bus um, was under fire uh, on the way to the 2010 African Cup of Nations. Can you tell me how that moment changed you? That moment just tell you something like, you know, when you, when you hear somebody is sick for a couple of months and the person is gone, the, the person is dead, you're like, wow, it's sad. But you knew that the person was sick. So which means you know whether the person will survive it or died. So, and when we're on that board singing, chilling, listening to music, and you realize that that particular, anything can happen, that changed me in a good way. I see a life in a positive way. I try to be myself. I try to please more people so that even if I'm not here anymore, I'm not on earth anymore, they should at least talk or say something good about me. So for me, I just want to lead by example. I just want to lead by example by telling people what to do at the right time. I don't want to offense anybody. That's why when somebody offends me, I forgive them and I move on. Now, it's been documented that at the age of 16, that you wanted to commit suicide because of your family issues and that a lot of African players or African men uh, deal with this. Um, do you think that enough has been done to address these issues? What I have been through, I don't want to see any younger brother or bigger brother or big sister or junior sister go through the same thing. The pressure was too much because I was very young I was, as you said, I was only 16. Obviously, for the first time, I'm in a, I'm in a professional, a good structure club, which I don't have a, I don't have a clue about. And you go to, uh, to your academy, you want to cry, and you have all these messages from your father, from your brother, from your sister. I'm like, listen, I have nothing to live for. There is no point. And I just wanted to commit suicide. I was so close. I wake up one day, I went out to the first pharmacy, so they just gave me the, bo the, like, the box of paracetamol and now it, it was like, I don't know, 50 inside. And I put it down, I'm like, I call my sister. I'm like, listen, I'm tired. She didn't convince me. I'm like, okay. Let me call this boy and tell him my story, which is like my junior brother as well. Let me tell him my story before at least somebody have backup of my story. And uh, he listened to me for like 15 minutes. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna hang up and tomorrow morning, you're not gonna get hold of me. Don't even try to call me. He's like, wait. You talk for 15 minutes, I listen to you. Can you also listen to me for 15 minutes? I'm like, okay. Then this boy convinced me out of my suicide. Those are the things killing our career, to be honest with you. I know a lot of footballers, because of family issue, even the national thing, family issue brought so many down. When they call you like, oh, my son, my junior brother, my big brother, we won the game to yesterday, you could have passed this boy, you could have done this. They didn't, they don't do that. They just call you, you know what? My car's not working anymore, I have to repair it. Or oh, you know what, I saw the new iPhone 4 is out, I want one. So all oh, those things is just like unnecessary stress. That's why in Africa today, I'm used as an example that this person, he's a, he have a strong character. No matter what they throw to him, he's still doing his thing. So for me, I think we have to learn from that. You're known to do a lot of charity work uh, back home in Togo now. As you are well aware, uh, George Weah has just become the president of Liberia. So, do you have any political ambitions of your own? No, no. Oh, what I want to get involved in is help my people. I keep telling them, whatever I do in Europe, I'm going to Europe to work to come and feed you people. I'm going to Europe to work to come and save you, come and save the minimum of life that I can save, maybe two or three. So, whatever I'm here, I know they are behind me. So, for me, it's very important to work for them. When I say work for them, means getting money, getting popularity, so I can bring something back to them. And um, and when I'm, I'm very close to the president of the republic, so we're both working together. He's quite young, and uh, I'm very young, so compared to him, obviously. <laughs> we're both working together to see how we can help the youth of our country, to get them some jobs, to get them something going on, something to live on, something to dream on. And it's, at the moment, it's going well, so. I'm too young to start talking about politics. I'm too young to start dreaming of being a president. At the moment, I'm dreaming of being a good footballer, which I'm trying my best for.